Make sure you check out AlterRealityGames.com for a great buy list that's constantly updated, great selection of miniature figures, massive single card inventory for numerous TCGs, and also D&D products. Alter Reality Games, play hard or go home. Hi, this is Brad from Alter Reality Games here to bring you our top ten list for Magic. Um, most of the cards are standard this time, unlike last time where there was a good mixture. Our number one card is Cloth of the Hammer. Uh, it's been gaining a lot of popularity as Red Deck Wins has gained a lot of pro popularity in both standard and extended. So um, he, getting a 4-4 mountain in each turn is pretty good. Uh, number two is Phyrexian Crusader. Um, a lot of the Infect cards have shot up in price because of uh, the blue-white Infect deck getting very uh, high popularity. So. Thanks to Brian Kibler there. Number three is Inferno Titan. Uh, this card is seeing a, ton, seeing a ton of play right now in um, uh, RUG control. Uh, it's a very good card. You attack with it once, you can kill three squadron hawks, and it also has fire breathing. Or when it comes into play, you kill three, three uh, squadron hawks. So, very solid card. Uh, our fourth card is Volcanic Island. Um, as you know, uh, Recently, all the like cards in Legacy have just shot up tremendously high in price right now, um, due to the fact that Legacy is just getting more and more popular each and every uh, year that passes. The Grand Prix is also coming up at the end of May, on, um, so that's also going to help shoot up some cards. So our buy prices are really high right now on top tier Legacy cards. So check that out. Uh, number five is Marsh Flats, uh, fetch land from Zendikar, uh, blue, and, blue and white, obviously. Um, fetch lands always sell, so not really a huge surprise to see a fetch land on this list. Uh, number six is uh, Skithrix the Blight Dragon from Scars of Mirrodin. There again, uh, blue black infect, very popular uh, right now, and that's one of the creatures it plays, so that's why that's on there. Uh, our seventh card is Dream Sun Zenith. Uh, it's seen play uh, still. Uh, it's probably seen more play in extended than it is in standard. Uh, it's pretty good. Go get Fauna Shaman or anything you need, uh, any green creature. Uh, eight is Tezzeret, Agent, Agent of Bolas. He's still hanging around. Um, he's kind of dropped off from standard quite a bit, but in Legacy he's getting played now in uh, the Affinity deck. So. That is Tezzeret. And our ninth card is Baneslayer Angel. Uh, this one's kind of shocking to me because there aren't many decks playing this card right now. I mean, it's good in EDH, um, but it's kind of outclassed right now by all the Titans and Standard. So that one's a little bit of a shocker to see, but people are still buying her. It could be that she's only around $11 too now and not 50 anymore. And then our final card is Crow Mox. Um, obviously, this is in the, the uh, some people play it in their affinity decks. Um, Mox Opal might be a little bit better of a choice, but uh, people are probably playing that one as well. So those are our top 10 magic cards for this week. And then uh, also check out the buy list for all those legacy prices. Uh, they're really high right now. It's a good time to sell legacy cards. All right, have a good one.